Hello, race fans. Larry Supermouth Huffman here to tell you about a once-in-a-lifetime fundraiser coming up on May 1st, 2021. It'll be held on the North Shore of Chicago, and the seating is limited. It'll feature motocross champions from the USA and Europe. These legendary riders will assemble on May 1st, 2021 to sign autographs and tell stories. Besides having dinner with your favorite motocross star, you'll be able to view the collection of many Factory Works bikes in Terry's collection. That's Saturday night, May 1st, for a night you'll never forget. Be there! Legendary Belgian motocrosser Joel Robert is a six-time 250cc world champion, winning three for CZ and three for Suzuki, who helped introduce motocross to America in the late 60s and early 70s. Known for his hole shots, his battles with Torsten Allman for domination of the 250 class in Europe are considered some of the best racing in the history of motocross championships. Born with a natural riding talent and vast strength, Joel disdained training and was notorious for his wild personal life and antics in the pits. He once put out a cigarette on Suzuki teammate Sylvan Gabor handlebars while sitting on the starting line of a series finale, a race he went on to win. Joel played up his reputation playing mind games with his opponents. Once, he stopped during a moto and bought a beer, chugged it, and went back to win the race. A lot of this was play acting, and the fans loved it. Joel racked up 50 wins in his 14-year career before retiring to manage Belgium's Motocross des Nations team. Warren Ree grew up in a Southern California motocross family in the 1970s, also known as the Golden Age of Motocross. During his 10-year career, Warren avoided injuries while riding for FMF Honda, Team Honda, Suzuki, Kawasaki, and Yamaha. He was widely regarded as one of the good guys and a fierce competitor when an injury in 1984 caused him to fall back on his woodworking business skills and stop racing full-time. As a contract racer, he rode anything, anywhere, and did well. In 1986, he'd even earned a national number in flat track, but his successful business interests pulled him away from racing more and more. Warren set trends in Supercross, rode the Baja 1000 for BMW, and amused himself with speedway racing when bored. He was always proud of being able to ride any bike on any surface, a true Southern California racer. Born in Belgium in 1944, Roger de Coster's epic career earned him such stature that he's often referred to as the man. De Coster was known for his smooth, controlled riding style and physical stamina. His last-minute charges through the ranks of tired riders to victory in motocross races are legendary. Roger grew up with motorcycles and began his career with CZ until moving to Suzuki in 1970 with hopes of better support. He gave Suzuki its first ever victory in the 500cc World Championships. His hands-on approach to motorcycle development paid off with five 500cc World Championships and four American Trans AMA Motocross Series victories. A serious training accident in 1978 numbered the days of his racing future. Successfully transitioning into team management, Roger de Coster, the man, is active in the sports to this day and is acknowledged as the greatest motocross racer of the 20th century. Torsten Hallman is Mr. Motocross. Even his memoirs carry the title. Widely acknowledged as the greatest Swedish motocross racer in the sport, the future AMA Hall of Famer and FIM legend came to America in 1966 for Husqvarna with the mission to introduce Husky and motocross to America. He did this by entering and winning every race he could find. While winning four 250cc world championships, and five 250cc Trophy Donation Series, Torsten gained a unique insight into riding apparel and equipment. When a back injury forced his retirement from racing, Torsten started selling apparel and gear at tracks to riders who were hungry for quality equipment. 
His efforts grew from trackside sales into one of the largest motocross apparel companies in the sport, Torsten Hallman Original Racewear. Most notably in his 37 career wins are his 250cc GP battles with Belgian's Joel Robert, his adversary in the chase for the 250cc World Championship.